Good morning. Hi, it's Charlie. Um, we're going to talk a lot more about this later, but I wanted to make a quick little video talking about penis size. It's one of the questions that I get the most often. And in fact, if you watched my earlier video on not sending a picture of your penis, the message that accompanied the picture that I talk about was actually, am I a good size? So I know that this is a concern for a lot of guys, and pretty soon I'll be posting a whole elaborate chart with different sex positions and a whole conversation about penis size, so I'm not going to delve too much into that. Stay tuned for that later. Um, but the the sort of giveaway of that chart is that whatever size you are really is a fine size, I promise. I know you may not believe me, but absolutely every size penis is fine. I've been with guys who were two inches long. I've been with guys who were nine inches long. Your penis size has nothing to do with how good you are in bed. And in fact, sometimes being bad in bed and big is much worse than being bad in bed and small because you can, you know, actually cause some pretty serious internal injuries. <laughs> so there'll be more on that, like I said, later. Keep keep watching. Um, but I, I do, I did want to just tell you, first of all, that whatever size you are is good, and um, if you haven't researched it, the average penis size when hard is between five and five and a half inches, roughly. Um, so a lot of guys are really interested in measuring their penis. I think that that's fine. I think it's good to know facts about yourself, so if you want to measure it, go ahead. Not everybody knows really how to measure it. It seems like depending on where you measure, you might kind of come up with like a different length. So there's um, a few ways to sort of go about measuring your penis. I think it's easier to use a string and then to measure the string than to try to like hold the tape measure up against your body. Um, so yeah, you might want to get a piece of string or, or something else soft like that that you don't mind holding up against you and that's flexible. And then what you want to think if you're going to be measuring is you want to be measuring what's the um, penetrable amount of the penis, right? That's really what we're dealing with. So there's really three places you could measure your penis. You can measure from the top, like right up against your stomach to the head. You can measure from the bottom. Um, right up against your balls all the way to the head and you can tell that those are going to be sort of like slightly different lengths and you can measure in the middle um, and the middle is going to give you the most accurate one or another way to think about it is if you're erect and you um, can push your penis so it's sticking straight out and measure it that way that'll give you the most accurate amount but you can also measure it in the three different places on average if you want to get sort of crazy with the math. Um, but here's why you may be interested in measuring your penis is you want to make sure that you have a condom that fits you correctly. So, um, and actually the other reason that I want to make this video today is I want to talk about the value of practicing with a condom before, like alone, before you're with someone. So it can be really valuable to practice masturbating with a condom, especially if you haven't had a lot of sex or you've had partners in the past where you didn't use protection, um, or you might have had issues where you put on a condom and then suddenly you lose your erection, or you feel like you come too quickly. So, you know, condoms change the sensation a lot, and uh, there's no reason that you should be expected to just suddenly be really used to that. Um, and if that's something that concerns you, hey, practice by yourself. That's really, really valuable. And when you're practicing, it's good to uh, know that you're using the right one, right? So we've all seen like standard size condoms, and then we've seen magnums. They do also make smaller size condoms. Um, I haven't seen those in stores. You may have to special order them, but I will find them if you want them. Let me know. Um, it's good, just like anything else that you wear, to have one that fits you really well. Um, I have noticed that a lot of guys who really should be using magnums don't realize it and they don't want to be like that guy that buys the huge condoms in the store, but if you need them, you should buy them. A condom should not be a tourniquet. If it's cutting off the blood flow and making you lose an erection, you might just need a bigger size and, and that's okay too. So I wanted to actually look at a couple condoms. So here's a Durex, which is a standard size condom. I'm going to open it up. So this is what this looks like, and I'm not going to unroll it yet, but I just want to hold it up. Okay, I'm going to open a Magnum, and I'm going to show you the difference in the size so you can kind of see. There are a lot of guys who really should be using bigger condoms think, well, I can't be that big. I mean, I've seen 
porn, and I've seen some of the guys there, and I'm not hung like that, so I don't need a magnum. But they're actually, surprisingly, not all that much bigger than a normal condom. They're, like, millimeters bigger. So the same way that you might have, like, a half-size-up in shoe will make the difference between your foot um, being just a little bit squished and then feeling comfortable. A magnum is just sort of like a half-size step up like that, right? So here's a magnum, and here's the Durex. You can see that they're pretty similar. Here, I'll hold them close so you can see that. Um, if you hold them over each other, you can see that there's, like, I couldn't even fit the Durex inside the Magnum. Um, so it's really not, not that much difference in width. Um, so let's, let's unroll them and see the difference in length. So you can see that, too. So if you're above average, so if you're, I would say, like, seven inches or longer, you might want to play around with a magnum. Not everybody needs it. It depends some on girth, and there's a little bit of flexibility with just how far down it unrolls, um, and then it's a comfort level. You definitely don't want a baggy condom. That's not safe. That's not good for anyone. Um, okay, so here's the Durex, and this doesn't have to unroll all the way, so for a lot of people, it, there might be some stuff rolled up at the base, and, and that's fine. Um, okay. Let's do our magnum. Well, you know, these are really hard to enroll <laughs> with your hands. Okay, so here's what a magnum looks like enrolled, and here's what a Durex looks like enrolled. So you can see the length is a, is a little bit more noticeable, but not that much. I'm going to, hold on. Haha. <laughs> So here you go, the difference in the size. You can see that there's a difference, but it's really not that much, right? In fact, when I hold them base to base, I think there might even be the exact same length, and I don't know, maybe the magnum stretches a little bit more than the directs. Um, but so, so you can see they're, they're really not that different. So um, if you've had trouble using condoms in the past, or if you haven't used them a lot, or you just feel a little clumsy with them, then go ahead and buy a box, and maybe buy several boxes of different kinds. Try the thin ones, the ribbed ones, the uh, extra sensitive for her pleasure, the large ones, the small ones, the skinny ones, the fat ones, and, um, and try them out and masturbate with them. And you might try to putting some lube inside the condom. That feels really good from what I understand. Um, and, and make, you know, I mean, they come a little bit pre-lubricated, but go ahead and add some extra because you really can't have too much lube. Um, and try different lubes, too. There's cooling ones, there's heating ones, and play around with that until you really find the condom and the lube that fits you the best and that makes you feel the most comfortable. And then stock up on that so that when the time comes, you're not worried about, are you going to be able to perform? Is something going to happen? The condoms and the lube won't be an issue for you, and you'll really be able to just be present with your partner. Um, so that's what I wanted to talk about today. I'm going to go make some coffee now. I think that's probably the thing for me. I hope you have a beautiful day. Thanks. Bye.